Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Jenny and this is Arnold the Praying Penguin and we create videos every Saturday about prayer, about exploring the Bible and about living out your faith. And today's video is actually going to be quite a fun, laid back video about books, about music and actually my first ever tag video. And this is actually a new tag that I've created and it's going to be book recommendations based on Christian songs and hymns. So I've tried to choose different songs and hymns that you guys will hopefully know some of, but if nothing else, you will come away from this video with 15 different book recommendations and 15 worship music recommendations as well. So, win-win. This video was initially inspired mainly by Hayley and Bookland, who does a kind of book recommendations based on Christmas songs. And I do want to do a book recommendations based on Christmas carols at Christmas time, not now, at Christmas time. I thought this would be a fun one to do, kind of, non-Christmassy. I am going to tag some of my favourite kind of Christian bookish YouTubers at the end, but for anyone that wants to do this tag, you are more than welcome. I will link all of the songs and the tags down in the description so you can redo this over on your channels. Make sure you tag me and let me know that you've done it because I would love to see your guys' versions of this. And you can of course change the songs to ones that fit better for you, songs that you know, songs that you love. There are themes to the songs as well. So let's get into it. The first song on my list is Shine Jesus Shine by Graham Kendrick, which is just a classic song and we sung it all of the time in primary school. We had hymn practice once a week where we would just practice singing and sing lots of hymns basically and Shine Jesus Shine was just a classic and it's certainly not just a song for kids it's a song for everybody but it definitely reminds me of childhood and of primary school in particular so for this song I wanted to choose a book that reminded me of childhood and I actually have two in mind so the first one is Polly's March by Linda Newbery and I vividly remember reading this this is probably one of the earliest books I kind of remember myself reading. I'm sure I read many more before then, but this one kind of stands out in my mind. And it's kind of the book that got me interested in history in the first place. It's a book about this girl called Polly who's just moved house and in the same building as her live these other women, one of whom is a suffragette and one of whom is a suffragist. And it talks about kind of the differences in those two groups and the whole suffrage movement. And I can't remember everything about this book or that many of the details. I would love to reread it actually. I might do that at some point but I just remember it getting really interested in history and being a really great book. And the other books that remind me of childhood are the Ingo series by Helen Dunmore. And this is a series about a brother and a sister who I believe their dad has passed away and they become really drawn down to this beach and to the mermaids that live in the sea. And they meet all these different people and go into Ingo, which is kind of the under the sea world. There are four books in the series and I just remember loving all of them and it talked a lot about grief and it talked a lot about adventure. The second song on my list is What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong Worship and this is a song all about how beautiful, how wonderful, how powerful the name of Jesus is. So for this we're going to choose a book with a beautiful cover and I do have a few different options. I'm going to give some honourable mentions first to A Thousand Splendid Sons and And the Mountains Echoed both by Khaled Hassini. I think these are just beautiful and I love the colours of these. But I think the most beautiful cover on my shelf at the moment is A Long Petal of the Sea by Isabel Allende. And I haven't actually read this book yet, but it sounds amazing and I've heard loads of really good things about it. It's about a man and his sister-in-law and they're fleeing the Spanish Civil War and they flee to Chile. And I think it's about their journey and about their life in Chile. But the cover is just stunning. I love, I love any kind of foiling on a book cover and just the waves and the colours are just really beautiful. The third song on my list is The Blessing by Elevation Worship and this song is literally a prayer of blessing that you can kind of sing and pray over someone else and it's based on the blessing of Aaron which you can read in the bible in Numbers 6 verses 22 to 27 and there was actually a version of this done at the beginning of lockdown in the UK and it was a UK version of The Blessing and it brought different worship leaders, different singers from all across the UK into one amalgamated version and it's really really beautiful, I definitely recommend checking that out. I will link all of these songs and all of these books down in the description for you to check out but that one is a really really nice version. And so for this I want to choose a book that I would gift to everyone I know because this is a song 
that I think everyone should listen to and got shared all over the place at the beginning of lockdown and so we're going to choose a book that I would like to share with everyone too. And apparently I'm not very good at choosing just one book for this tag, I need to get better at that, but I do have two books for this answer. The first one is Digging for Diamonds by Kathy Madavan and the other one is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. And both of these books are amazing, I really love both of them. Digging for Diamonds is a non-fiction Christian book all about identity and it uses the analogy of a diamond and looks at the different characteristics of a diamond and kind of explores those characteristics within us as well. And then Before the Coffee Gets Cold is a book about a time-travelling coffee shop. So you can go to this coffee shop, sit in this particular chair and you can travel back in time and forward in time if you're sitting in this particular chair. But there are loads of rules. You can't leave the cafe, you can't change anything in the future and you have to be back before the coffee gets cold. And I think both of these books would be amazing to gift to pretty much anyone because of the topics that they cover. This one covers so much about identity and just about thinking about different things about ourselves and about who God says we are. And again, this one just covers some really a real variety of different topics. It talks about dementia, it talks about family, it talks about relationships, and I think it's a book that lots of people could enjoy. Song number four is Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin, and this is a song all about God's characteristics as a good father. I kind of have a interesting relationship with this song because basically in our old church the worship leader loved this song and it is a great song it's a really good song for leading worship and singing in church and singing together and we just used it a lot and I got to the point where I was just kind of sick of this song maybe if I went back to it now it would be okay now that I'm a few years removed but we just did it so much so for this I want to choose a book that has great family dynamics and so for this book I've chosen Two by Two by Nicholas Sparks which is kind of an interesting choice because it's actually about a married couple going through a separation and splitting up which obviously isn't great family dynamics but it does have really great family dynamics thinking about the main character, the man in the story and his daughter. That father-daughter relationship is really interesting and really nice to watch um, but also his relationship with his sister, his relationship with his parents and how those kind of relationships change over time and change during crisis and during these different things that the characters are going through and it did make me cry an awful lot so song number five is You Restore My Soul by New Wine Worship and I first heard this at New Wine over the summer a couple of years ago now and just really loved it. It's kind of based on Psalm 23 and just talks about how God is holding on to us even when it doesn't feel like it and it's just a really beautiful song. So for this I want to choose a book that I got at a conference which I'm sure for a lot of us is many a book because I go to conferences, I hear these people speak, I see these books in little bookshops and you just want all of them but then do you actually read them? That's the question. So Digging for Diamonds I did actually get at a conference where I saw Kathy Madavan speak um, and I got it because I heard her speak, I didn't actually really know anything about the book, I just really liked her when she was speaking and wanted to read her book and I have read it. And then the other one, I got this at my very first New Wine and it's Know Your Why by Ken Costa. And it took me three, four, maybe four years to actually get around to reading this book. But it was good. It was about a three stars, but I'm sure for other people it would be much more impactful. It talks a lot about purpose and identity and finding your calling and recognising why you're doing things. I did like the fact that it doesn't centre around kind of Christian ministry, like a particular Christian job. It talks about being a Christian within other workplaces too and that also being a calling. It's not like becoming a vicar is the only calling, which is something that irritates me in books and speakers. So I was very glad that this didn't do that. Song number six is Yet Not I But Through Christ In Me by City Alight. That is a long title of a song, but this isn't too so much about the song, it's more about the artist City Alight. I found City Alight a couple of years ago and just really love pretty much every single song that they have. 
They're so biblically rooted and really solid theologically, but also great music, really nice to listen to and to sing along with. Great for listening to in a car, on a car journey, just singing to my heart's content when no one else can hear me. So for this one, I wanted to think about an auto-buy author. An author that I would happily read and buy pretty much any book that they come out with. So I don't actually have too many of these. There are quite a few who I like the idea of pretty much all of their books, but I haven't actually tried one yet. So I'm not gonna go out and buy all of them because I don't know whether I actually enjoy them. They just sound great. But one author that I would probably consider pretty much auto-buy at this stage, or at least auto-read, is Linwood Barclay. And he writes mystery and thriller books um, set in America. I read these quite a bit when I was younger, my dad also reads them, and now I have my own little collection. Some read, some not read, and some that I want to reread. But these are just really nice, kind of quite easy to read mystery and thrillers, with just really good kind of twists and turns and kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Book number seven is In Christ Alone by Keith and Kirsten Getty, and as the title suggests, this song is kind of just about how our hope is in Jesus alone, in Christ alone, and how we can stand in the love, in the death, and in the power of Christ. So for this one, I wanted to choose a book that points us towards Jesus. And this might be too cheesy, you might consider it cheating, but obviously the Bible is a pretty good book and it points us towards Jesus. Every single book within the Bible points us towards Jesus, which it's just a great book to read. We shouldn't forget to read this book. So, sorry if you think this is cheating, but it is a great book that points us towards Jesus, so it fits the bill. Song number eight is Lion and the Lamb by Leland, and this song is about how God is both the lion, our king, defender, protector, but also the lamb who was sacrificed and killed for us. I'm just gonna read you some of the lyrics, I think. Explain this a bit better. And our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles, and every knee will bow before him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain. For the sins of the world, his blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. So for this song, I wanted to choose a book that has great animal characters. And doing this made me definitely realise that I need more books with animals in them with great animal characters and animal sidekicks. So if you have any recommendations for books that have animals in them, definitely let me know down in the comments. But for now, the book that I've chosen is The Penguin Lessons by Tom Michel. And this is actually a true story about a man and his penguin friend, which is why I love it, because he has a penguin friend, a real life penguin friend. So Tom actually rescues this penguin in Uruguay and he rescues him from this oil spill and this penguin is covered in oil washed up on a beach and he takes this penguin home cleans him off and then tries to release him back into the wild but the penguin won't go the penguin wants to stay with him and he ends up keeping this penguin and looking after him he has to smuggle him back into argentina where he teaches at a boarding school and it's just about his life in this boarding school with his penguin and about kind of what they get up to and it's just adorable everybody wants a penguin friend i love it Book number nine is 10,000 Reasons by Matt Redman. And this is a song all about how we have 10,000 reasons to praise God. Basically how we have endless reasons to praise God. No matter what else is going on in our life, how we can always turn back and praise God. So for this, I wanted to choose a book that I would be happy to read over and over and over again, 10,000 times over. Get it? And so for this one, I've chosen Before the Storm by Diane Chamberlain. And this is probably currently my favorite book of all time. I just reread it. I read it quite a few years ago and I've just reread it and I still love it. And it's still amazing. And I still think everyone should read it. So this book follows a boy called Andy who has a fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and he's involved in a fire that ends up being suspected of setting the fire of arson. And it's about finding out what's happened and who's actually to blame for this fire and what's actually happened. But it also looks back at his family. It looks at his sister. It looks at his mother and her history and just what she is prepared to do to look after him and protect him. But it covers so many interesting different topics and I just think it is a book that I could happily just reread it. As soon as I finished it last month, I just kind of wanted to pick it up and start it all over again. That's how much I enjoyed it. So we shall be reading this 10,000 times over. 
Song number 10 is Because He Lives by Matt Maher. And this is a song all about how we have life because of Jesus, because he lives, because Jesus rose again when he was resurrected on Easter Sunday. So for this, I wanna choose a book that gives hope, a book that gives me hope. And I actually spoke about this book in my video, Reasons to Have Hope. I will link that video down in the description. It's all about different reasons the Bible gives us to have hope. But I mentioned this book in particular, Born Survivors by Wendy Holden. And it might not seem a very hopeful book, but I think overall it really is. So this book tells the story of three women who arrived at Auschwitz pregnant. This is a true story. All three stories of the women are true. So they managed to hide their pregnancies. So they spend some time in Auschwitz, then in a slave labour camp, and then they are being moved to Mauthausen. And it's just about their fight for survival for themselves and for their children and kind of what happened during their pregnancies and how they managed to hide them and then how they give birth to their children and what happens at the end of the war. And it really is just an amazing story about kind of courage and about survival and about hope, I think, about hope for all the people that helped them along the way, the kindness of strangers and just about their fight for survival and what they did to ensure survival for their children. Song number 11 is Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone by Chris Tomlin. So this song takes the traditional Amazing Grace and kind of jazzes it up a little bit and just talks about how God has set us free. And so for this I wanted to choose a retelling, a book that takes one story and kind of jazzes it up, changes it a bit, does something interesting with it. And I haven't actually read this book yet, but it is Long Way Gone by Charles Martin. And this book, from what I have heard, is a retelling, a modern retelling, of the parable of the prodigal son. And it sounds really, really interesting, and I can't wait to get to this book. I've heard loads of really great things about it, so I'm very excited. Song number 12 is I, the Lord of Sea and Sky by Daniel L. Shutter. And this is probably one of my favourite hymns, and it's kind of speaking from God's point of view to start with, looking down at the earth he's created, the people that he's created, and seeing them in trouble and thinking, who am I gonna send to fix this problem? And then it's kind of answering God and saying, here I am, send me. So for this, I wanted to choose a book that either really made me care about a particular group of people or wanted me to take action in some way. So I have two particular books for this one. So the first one is The Kite Runner by Carlo Tassini. And this one, I learned a lot about Afghanistan through this book and about the history of Afghanistan, about the people of Afghanistan, about the different conflicts and about the Taliban and kind of their presence in Afghanistan and what that meant for the people. And it really did make me care about the people of Afghanistan and about what was happening to them. And just this kind of area of history that I didn't know a lot about. I've obviously heard a lot of things about it you know, just in the news over my lifetime, but just hearing it from a much more personal perspective about the people who live there and are experiencing this every day. And then the other book that I wanted to mention here was Home for Good by Krish Kandaya. And this book is all about adoption and about how the church is well placed to support children who are being adopted and fostered and kind of what we can do to support either by being adoptive or foster parents ourselves or by supporting other people who are fostering and adopting. And this book does just do a really good job about talking to you about why it's important to be getting involved in this in some way and also how you can help whether or not you're able to foster or adopt yourself. Song number 13 is This I Believe by Hillsong Worship. And this is a song based on the creed. So it's us declaring our faith in God, declaring what we believe in. So for this, I wanted to choose a book that strengthened my faith in some way. And for this, I've chosen God Unmute by Pete Gregg. So this book is actually a book about unanswered prayer, but it talks about prayer in general as well, and kind of God answering prayer and prayer that doesn't get answered. There are so many just really wonderful stories in this book from all different people about perseverance in prayer, about God answering prayer, about God not answering prayer, but also just about God's faithfulness to them through it all. I love hearing other people's testimonies and stories about what God has done in their life, and this is full of that. Book 14 is Weep With Me by Rent Collective. And if you're going through something difficult or a really sad time, I really recommend this song. I remember I saw Rent Collective live at one point and they were talking about this song. They talked as they were introducing all of their songs about kind of what they meant 
and kind of why they wrote them. And when they were talking about this song, they mentioned in particular the story of a girl who they met because she'd requested to meet them as her Make-A-Wish experience. And they were kind of talking to the girl and they also spoke to her mother. And kind of through this experience and through talking with them, they kind of realised their songs are very upbeat, they're a very cheerful group. But they realised that those kind of songs would be really difficult for this mother to be singing and for that to be a way for her to praise God just full of just joy. Whereas actually, was there a worship song where she could kind of come to God and praise God in her sadness? So that's kind of what this song is about. And again, I just wanted to read some of the lyrics because I think they will explain it much better than I have explained it, which probably isn't very well. Yet I will praise you, yet I will sing of your name. Here in the shadows I will offer my praise. What's true in the light is still true in the dark. You're good and you're kind and you care for this heart. Lord, I believe you weep with me. So for this, I wanted to choose a book that made me cry, which is several books. I mentioned Two by Two was a book that made me cry, but The Book Thief was another one that really made me cry, particularly at the end. I just, I just sobbed. I sobbed like a little baby. And you even know that something bad is coming because this is literally narrated by death. He says throughout that something bad is coming. So, you know, you should know, you should be prepared. I was not, okay? But this book is set in Nazi Germany and it follows a young girl who has been taken to a foster family and her mother has left her there. And you follow her and her experience in this German town. And it's about her discovering books and learning about books eventually stealing books, the book theme. But lots of things happen in this book. You follow this family as the foster family take in a Jewish man and hide him in their basement and hide him from the Nazis. And yeah, an awful, an awful lot of stuff happens in this book. It's quite hard to just explain it in one go, but it is narrated by death, which is really interesting. And I really enjoyed that kind of writing style. Um, kind of quite sarcastic and humorous in like a weird way. But it's super interesting and I cried like a baby and finally song 15 is happy day by Tim Hughes and this song is kind of completely the opposite this song is all about joy and celebration it's a song of celebration for Easter Sunday for Jesus's resurrection and just praising God and kind of the joy of that day so for this I wanted to choose a book that brings me joy and for that I've chosen the strange case of the alchemist's daughter and actually this whole series there are two more books in this trilogy I read both of them and I love all of them. They were all five stars and they all just bring me a lot of joy because of the found family aspect of this. So these are kind of fantasy, historical, mystery books that follow this group of young women who are all kind of daughters or in some way related to famous scientists from Gothic literature. So you have Frankenstein, you have Rappuccini, you have Moreau, you have Jekyll and Hyde, those kind of characters. It's their daughters or people or young women who are in some way related to them. And it kind of follows them as they're investigating firstly a series of murders, but also the society that their fathers were all part of. But the reason it brings me joy is kind of the found family, all of these different young women and their relationships with each other and they're all so different but not in like a really obvious way it's not like oh she's the funny one she's the serious one they're all really well developed characters and really interesting and they explore so many different things across kind of the adventures that they go on and they have such kind of different personalities and different perspectives on life different views on pretty much everything but still they're this family that support each other and help each other and it's just really good and it brings me a lot of happiness. So those are the 15 songs and 15 book recommendations based on those songs. I will link all of the songs and all of the books down in the description as well as kind of the list of tag questions. The three YouTubers that I want to tag are Tuesday over at The Crafty Cottage, Chantel over at Chantel at An Intentional Life, and Oshina at Oshina Gotta Read Them All. I will link all of their channels down in the description and you should definitely go and check all of them out. They're great YouTubers to watch. But if you've seen any other tag videos that you'd like me to do, 
do let me know down in the comments or if you'd like to see other kind of book recommendation type videos let me know what kind of things you'd like to see down in the comments. But for now if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed these book recommendations please do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and Arnold and for now we will see you next Saturday with a new video. Bye!